board members, House staff, distinguished guests. Thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today to share a little bit of our story and the huge role that the Ronald McDonald House has played in our son's recovery. My name is Sean Kelly, and this is my wife, Diana. Both of us are teachers from Monmouth County, New Jersey. Diana teaches preschool, and I currently teach kindergarten. Before we begin, I wanted to share that when I was in high school, I received a congressional award, and for the volunteering portion of that award, I had volunteered at the Ronald McDonald House in Long Branch, New Jersey. It's a unique experience to now see this organization from the other side. So at Diana's 20-week ultrasound, we learned that our son would be born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome, a rare but serious congenital heart defect in which the left atrium and left ventricle of his heart was underdeveloped. We were instructed that in the weeks preceding our son's birth that we would need to move into the Philadelphia area so that we would be close to CHOP's special delivery unit where we planned to have the baby. The team was clear that making the trip up from New Jersey at the last minute was not a scenario they or we were comfortable with. We moved into the Ronald McDonald House in the beginning of November and on November 14th I gave birth to our son Magnus Aiden. Magnus means the great one, Aiden means born of fire a strong name for our strong heart warrior son. At only two days old, Magnus Aiden underwent an extensive open heart surgery, the first of many that would rework his heart in order to allow one pump to do the work of two, a procedure known as the Norwood. Our initial stay at the Ron McDonald House lasted until approximately a month after our son completed his stage one heart surgery, which brings us right before the holidays. At that point, we returned to New Jersey and spent approximately two blissful months at home as a family. In February, after a follow-up scan here at CHOP, our son experienced a drop in his blood oxygen level that necessitated us to return by ambulance to the hospital. What was supposed to be a simple outpatient procedure turned into several days in the cardiac unit. Again, Ronald McDonald House supported us by providing us with the room while we sorted out our son's situation. Most recently, in March of 2022, our son experienced another concerning DSAT, which led him to being transported back to CHOP again, only this time being transferred by ambulance from our local hospital in New Jersey. This time around, it was our son's pulmonary blood vessels, the ones that carry blood to and from the lungs, that were the issue. These vessels were experiencing narrowing, making it harder and harder for them to carry blood and, by extension, oxygen throughout his body emergency interventions would need to be implemented in order to save his life. Since returning in March, our son has had two additional major open heart surgeries and a series of recatheterizations meant to address this narrowing. There were a couple of very close calls and there were times when we were not sure if our son would survive, but he has. He has overcome challenge after challenge and as we stand here today, our son is finally in the cardiac step-down unit. We are looking forward to hopefully being discharged for home in the next few weeks. We have stayed in Philadelphia, all told, nearly three months. And it's not an exaggeration to say that we would not have been able to do this without the support of the Ronald McDonald House. Even at the most generous hospital rate, hotel stays would have been prohibitively expensive to us. And it's possible that we would have needed to commute back and forth from New Jersey to see and spend time with our son. Additionally, we have to thank the managers, the social workers, and support staff for connecting us with grant money that's been invaluable in paying down some bills. This has been especially important to us as we have no source of income at the moment. The food and free parking at the hospital is a welcome relief, and when I had hip surgery just in the past few weeks, they were extremely accommodating, transferring us to a room that was handicap accessible and closer to the elevator. We understand that due to our son's condition, he will require additional hospitalizations and need to undergo further surgeries and procedures to ensure his continued health. Knowing the level of support we can expect at the Ronald McDonald House definitely makes that knowledge easier to handle and future hospital visits easier to plan for. During our stay here in Philadelphia, the Ronald McDonald House has become a home away from home for us. We want to give a special shout out to Zaire, who has just the right personality, temperament, and energy for the job of house manager. Your guests are going through unique circumstances and have special needs, one of which is being greeted warmly when they leave or return home. And Zaire has never failed to make us feel welcome. 
We would like to thank you for your time and attention and for allowing us the opportunity to share our story and our appreciation for your organization. Thank, thank you. you.